Okay, I got this one here. And I cleaned out the valve body. I put brush buddy in it. And I stick this in. And this, this is what I want here. Mm. That's the valve moving back and forth. Still look like it could use a little more, but I want them all to do that. That's on their own pressure. Okay, so there's this valve right here. It moves right here, it moves very easy. It's moving easy. You probably saw it just move. See it moving, falling back down. See it falling down. That's what you want it to do. You don't want any valves sticking. I'm going to do some more brush buddying. And you want all the valves to be like that. So, let's get busy. Okay. I'll put the second one in here, which was right here, and watch what happens. That's what you want. See if you can see it moving. See it fell down. All right. Putting my finger over here and just shaking it, letting it move up and down. Now I'm going to get this one and put it in, see what it does. dirt or something in here. Get that out. We're going to see if it moves. Nope, that, that's this one. I got to take this other one out. This is... Alright, let's see. There he goes. It's moving up and down too. So happy with that. Yep. So you can see it. Right here. It's falling down. Slow down. Okay, so that's free. For the last one, I'll put a little oil on here. Let's put this in and see if it moves like it. Well, this wasn't bad. This one wasn't bad at all. So. Yep. You hear the click on there too. All right. So I'm happy with this. And start putting all these valves back in and we're going to go to the next valve body um, I'll let you see what the valves are in case you get all mixed up with putting valves in so I'm going to put these in and we'll move to the next one all right now we're moving on to the next valve body I know this is time consuming but this is what you need to do Alright, what are we going to start? We're going to start with one, two, three, four. Here is a filter in here. The filter goes there. That means that you, you see this filter? This filter, it came out of that spacer plate.
Mm -hmm. Okay, so this filter goes in this hole underneath. The plate just sits on top to hold it down in the valve body. So let's move this out of our way. We know where it goes. Alright, now we got this valve to take out. So let's get started. Okay, it, it goes the opposite way. Make sure there's nothing here. Take it out from here. From the bottom. Make sure you put your finger over the hole so it don't the spring don't shoot it out. Oh, there you go. On. There's a spring and some more stuck valves. Okay, there's one there. Two, three, four, five, or six to take out here. This one has that little nose on it. Okay, this looks like this, and the spring. Hmm, it's got a little bit small valve right here that goes inside of the little nose. So it's gonna go, go inside here. Gotta watch that there. Almost looked like a boost valve, but Put that right there. All right there. Spring there. I can see where this valve here has been scratching a bit right there scratching <sighs> let's put that there let's get on with this here
and you got one more taken out on this side, but there's one that comes out on this side. <sighs> All right. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? What you wanna be careful is that these don't roll on each other and the springs get mixed up on this side and you won't know what went to what. Put the wrong springs, you're gonna have some problems. So you wanna make sure that they stay in their prospective channels. All right, there's one more I told you and that's this side here which come out on this end. So. Let's get that one out too. Got a heavy spring in this one. Have to be careful. Uh oh, Don't watch that. Darn, this one got a heavy spring. Real heavy spring. Tempted to, to say, forget this, don't take this one out. But, gotta do it. Yep, it's still stuck though. Oh boy, is is that stuck? See that? The one you don't want to take out is the one that, that don't want to come out. That one is really stuck. See if I can get it out. I'm gonna have to slam this valve body against something to get this to come out. Yep. All right. Got it out. All right, take a good look at the valves that goes in this valve body here. In case you get messed up. I'm going to brush buddy the, the bores in this one. Make sure they click like the other one. Also, this valve here, they got a little valve in there. I'm going to stick something in there too. So this can move back and forth. That little valve in there can move back and forth. Put it back together. All right. I got every single one of the valves back in this valve body and they were clicking just like the last valve body. That's what you want. This is time consuming. Not a lot of people want to go through that. They would rather take 
a screwdriver and pick him against the springs okay but you know you may get away with that um, I don't advise that in all cases and I definitely don't advise it on this CVT because it makes a lot of metal either you go through taking these valves out or you get a valve body that has already been rebuilt okay so you put it in or you so you may risk suffering taking it back out again you know you want those valves to move freely CVTs make a lot of metal fine metal especially with that belt rubbing up against things it makes fine metal and when those balls break you know they chip the balls breaks huh it's going to cause something to stick you saw the valves that were sticking so now we're going to put this thing back together and we'll see once we get it back together it'll be ready to put inside the transmission